For the past few months, the rumour mill has been into absolute overdrive relating to DJI's imminent release of the DJI Mini 3 Pro. We have seen leaked photos, leaked videos, we have seen leaked websites basically showing all of the specifications of this drone. And whilst there may not be much left to the imagination, DJI are about to imminently release this drone to the world officially this time. Okay, now what I've done is something a little bit different on my channel and I've reached out to my friend Henrik Olsen of Tetra Media and I've asked him to list his five favorite features that he is looking forward to when this drone finally gets released. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with Henrik um, who of course is now going to give his five favorite things that he's looking forward to but stick around to the end because I'm sure you're going to want to hear exactly what my favorite things that I'm looking forward to. So see you in a little sec. These are the five features that I've been looking forward to with the DJI Mini 3 Pro once it's out. There is no doubt the camera upgrade will play a crucial role of the success of this sub 250 gram drone. And an aperture that is 1.7, which is basically the half of what we got with the Air 2S and the Mini 2, this will be a beast in low light situations. Will it be able to take up competition with the Autel Nano Plus? That will still have to be seen. And the recent rumors from the water pipes says that it will be very easy to swap the ND fillers on this type of camera, uh, which is very useful in the absence of variable aperture that will help reduce the amount of light that hits the sensor. That will make it easier for you to introduce motion blur that will make your footage around moving objects bothery smooth. The camera is capable of recording 4K 60fps and it will be provided with a flat color profile the cine like that will help you preserve some of the dynamic range. I guess it makes sense that they have limited to 8-bit instead of 10-bit because they still want to keep the weight of the drone below 250 grams. I hope you know this was a joke, but regardless, a flat color profile will help you tremendously in post-production to preserve some of the dynamic range in your footage and allowing you to color grade and color correct your footage in post for some amazing results. Okay, wind resistance level five. This is the same as you are getting with the Air 2S which is pretty amazing for a sub 250 gram drone. I know the Mini 2 is also claimed to be a level five drone, but it's sort of an interval that is being put into the data sheet. And those of us that have flown in strong winds with the Mini 2 know that it can handle it, but it has some serious issues with the gimbal if the wind is getting too strong. Flight time of 34 minutes, that is super awesome. And the possibility to swap it out with a heavier battery that will extend the flight time to 47 minutes on a single charge. And even if this is only 40 minutes in real life or so, this will feel like an eternity and will give you some creative options that you didn't have in the past. You're supposed to flick the camera just by the touch of a button for a vertical shooting mode that will be optimal for social short form media content. If you combine this with master shots and the capability of the drone to tilt up to 60 degrees, you will have a very, very powerful tool for creating short form content to both TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts. I know many of the regular viewers, at least on my Tech Drone Media channel, they hate this short format. But I gotta tell you, this is a format that is presented on all the major social platforms and it's not going to go away anytime soon. But I kind of agree, you shouldn't try to shoehorn long form content into that format. I really like that DJI has decided to support this and make the content creation process easier. Smart controller. Smart controller, smart controller, smart controller. We are all very envious when the Mavic 3 was released and we saw the new RC Pro and everybody thought, well, could we just have a smart controller like that? for our other drones. And now you get it. You get the new DJI RC. I'm super, super excited about this product. And many of you are asking what's wrong with the phone and the traditional solution. And I'm going to tell you why I like the smart controller. That's of course the obvious one, the, the ease of use where you don't need to fiddle around your phone to get airborne. You have a high brightness screen that will allow you to see what's going on under full sunlight. You don't have any issues with the phone overheating or the screen is dimming, 
making it almost impossible to see what's going on, which is a very common issue with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I like you have a dedicated button for everything. So you have a, like a wheel for tilting the gimbal and you have another wheel that will help you control the zoom levels of the drone. Also, I've heard that the smart controller by itself is super light compared to the RC Pro. So that's an advantage as well. Some absolutely incredibly interesting points from Henrik there. Um, and it's always good to hear what a top YouTuber and of course a seasoned drone professional has to say. And interesting to see what he has to say of what his top five were. Now, of course, I'm hoping you want to hear what my top five uh, things I'm looking forward to with the DJI Mini 3 Pro and in order to do this what you're going to need to do is check out Henry Olsen's video uh, where he has going to be running my footage uh, all about what I'm looking forward to so what I will do is I will leave a link in the video description I will leave a card above my head and I will leave an end screen about there so that's three ways you can go visit that video okay now what's quite interesting is when me and Henry agreed to do this video we actually didn't discuss at all all uh, what our order was or what we was actually looking forward to so it's interesting to see what the actual comparison will be but of course Henry does produce some fantastic stuff and we are both going to be covering uh, a lot of DJI Mini 3 content so please do make sure you subscribe to his channel and check out all of his other videos but until next time that wraps up this one thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're awesome until next time see you again soon